JustAZ.com Productions. Filters are critical components for your aquarium. They remove physical and chemical waste from your tank or pond. There are many different types of filters, each suited to different needs. JustAZ Aquatics presents a series of videos showing you how to build any one of these filters using inexpensive parts available almost anywhere, even if you have limited DIY skills. The one thing to remember while watching these videos is that it's do it yourself. All filters in this series are scalable and can be made out of a variety of different parts other than the ones that we used here. In this episode, we look at the different types of filtration and filters. After watching the series, you can decide how best to address your filtration needs. All aquariums are not only unique, but evolve over time. You add fish, the fish grow and breed. Understanding how filters work better prepares you for the changes in your tank. There are three different types of filtration, and every filter in this series uses one or more of these methods. Mechanical. In its basic form, mechanical filtration is water passing through a media such as a sponge or floss. The media captures particulates and solids as the water passes through it returning clean water to the tank. With mechanical filtration, the media needs to be cleaned or replaced regularly. The filter is designed with this need in mind. Chemical. Chemical filtration is the action of passing water over a substance to change its chemical compound. For example, passing water over charcoal neutralizes ammonia, which is harmful to the fish. Like mechanical filters, chemical filters need replacing on a regular basis, just not as often. Biological. Biological filtration is the growth of beneficial bacteria on an inert media such as bio balls or ceramic rings. The bacteria converts ammonia into nitrites and then into nitrates. It's essential to neutralize ammonia as this can harm the fish. Beneficial bacteria makes for a healthy environment in your tank. Filters can be any one kind, such as a biological or a combination of filters, such as you will see in Episode 2, DIY Sponge Aquarium Filter. The sponge filter is a combination of biological and mechanical filtration. In Episode 5, DIY Undergravel Aquarium Filter, I build a biological filter. Both the canister filter and wet dry trickle filter use all three types of filtration. You can see the canister filter in episode 6 and the wet dry trickle filter in episode 7. In episode 3 I build a moving bed filter. In episode 4 I build the Hamburg Matten filter. I also build a hang on the back overflow device that can be used with your filtration system. You can see that in episode 8. In this series of DIY aquarium filters, you see how different filters and filtration methods operate. And after watching this series, you can make an informed decision as to which type of filter you want to build for your aquarium. Thanks for watching.